Hey, how's it guys? Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can package your Playwright application using PineStyler. Alright, so right here, uh, here's my Playwright application. And let me run the Playwright application first, so you know uh, what this application does. Alright, so basically this application will go to python.org, then save the page as a HTML file. Alright, so let's wait. Alright, so right here is the uh the file. So after the application finishes. Now to package the application using PineStaller, um there's a couple of things that we need to do. So unfortunately you cannot just use PineStaller then package the application. Alright, so here let me show you. So first we need to create a Python virtual environment just for our packaging uh step. Alright, so launch your terminal. And here I'm going to create the environment. And I'll name the environment Playwright Packaging. Now here let me go into the folder. And it should be right here. Should uh, this one here. All right, so I'm going to set it into the uh, environment. Yeah, I'm going to activate the environment. Now here I need to install the Playwright Python package. So pip install, playwright. Now meanwhile, uh, while the package is, is getting downloaded, I'm going to copy my application over to my virtual environment folder. Now based on what the, uh, the driver uses or the browser type uses, now in this case, I'm using the Chrome driver. Now going back to the terminal, so uh, to package the application using PyStore. So remember that uh, when a user needs to use the application, uh, he or she needs to install the, actually not install, he or she needs to make sure that the uh, driver is included already. Now when Playwright install the driver, it's going to save the driver in your app folder. Now to ensure that when we uh, package the application, we are including the Chrome driver in the uh, same directory as the, as the application. All right, so to do that, so here, uh, when we install the driver, we need to first of all, uh, set the Playwright browser path environment variable. So here I'm using bash, but uh, if I'm using other terminal, uh, such as PowerShell or command line tool, the instruction should be uh, relative the same. All right, so here I'm going to set the HTML browser, the Playwright browsers, have environment variable to zero to indicate that we want to save the browser driver file in the same folder as the application. All right, so here we're going to set the environment variable to zero. Then we're going to install the driver. So here we can install the Chrome driver by using the commit playwright install Chrome and enter. And that command is only going to install the Chrome driver. But usually I noticed that a lot of people will do a uh, Playwright install. And that's going to include all the uh, the driver types, such as Firefox, uh, WebKit, and Chrome. Uh, you want to avoid that when you package your application because you want to make sure that your file size is as small as possible. All right, so it's like uh, the download is finished. All right, so there was one more library that I forgot to install, which was the PyInstaller library. So here, let me do that right now. So pip install PyInstaller. Now at this point, you can package the application by running the command PyInstaller dash uppercase F to make that as one file standalone application and followed by the uh, script name. So in this case, it will be app.py, enter. Right, so looks like uh, the packaging is finished. Now, if we go to the distribution folder, and here's the application. Now, if I run the application, and let's wait. And I should actually uh, set this to false, but it's okay. Let's wait. All right, so looks like the application is finished. And it's going to create the HTML file of the Python work homepage. And this is how you're going to package your player application by following those steps. 
All right, so this is going to be something I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys find this video is for. And if you have any question, feel free to post your question or your comment in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.